Anita, your favorite diva, and I am back. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, let the diva know you stopped by. Make sure you subscribe if you like the vibe. If this is your first time here, welcome and welcome back, Diva Squad. To the so I give it three out of five stars. It knew what it was, and it delivered just that. Doing a trailer reaction. And Dion. Dion on Diva the Divas channel. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nita, your favorite diva, and I am back with my girl, Monique Johnson. Hey. Hey. And we're getting ready to go into Shogun, episode four, The Eightfold Fence. We're going to be recapping, reviewing, giving you our takes on what is going on. I hope you catch court episode three, and we are gearing up for our live shows discussing Shogun, episode five. Yes. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so make sure you're liking the video as you're coming in. Make sure you like, subscribe, all the things if you're finding me for the first time. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to let Monique introduce the first scene as we get into the opening credits. Okay, so basically we see we see this. We open it up with this little boy just running with this uh, package. Right. Uh, he's coming through the uh, village running and coming up to this door. He's screaming on me. We don't know who that is just yet. <laughs> so he's screaming on me. He hand only the uh, package and then Omi open it and he proceeded to read it. He turned around. He had a smile on his face, turned around, told the village people that his uncle coming. Right. So let's get let's prepare, get ready for him and his guests. Yep. <laughs> so basically that was it. <laughs> that was it. Then we, we open the scene. And the uh, title of this episode is Eight Fold Fence. Okay. All right. So we first see um, the granddaughter. I think her name is Fuji. Fuji is talking to Mariko. Mm -hmm. And she's basically saying that because Tornaga has made the engine Hatamoto, he needs a consort and he has chosen you to be the consort. The consort is the one person who makes um the house a home you know take care of the affairs cook and do all the things so and of course the pillowing is what the eyes and ears <laughs> right the eyes and ears all that good stuff all that good stuff so she first she kind of didn't want to do it but she said she ended up saying that she'll give six months she said i'd rather shave my head and become a nun i said uh <laughs> exactly exactly i mean well, she lost her peoples so we got to like, she didn't get a chance to mourn. So we kind of got to get her grace for that kind of space. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that's why Toronaga wasn't too too hard on her either. Because, you know, who are you telling me you giving me six months? Like, hello? Like, he could have <laughs> really pulled rank right on that or whatever. Okay. Yeah, he could have. But, um, so he said something about, he was like, okay, so we see. Your son brought it up, the, uh, him resigning. Oh, okay. uh, he ain't know. They don't know who gonna take his place since he's resigning from the council. Exactly. And Yabu was so shocked. He like, you resigned? You resigned? You ain't tell oh, me, right? <laughs> because basically, he almost feels like that. Definitely, uh, signing your death certificate. Like if you're if you're not a part of the council, that that was kind of part of your protection almost. So yeah, kind of was like kind of shook by the decision. He's like, letting everything go. Exactly. Said, so. It's right okay so here you go so they arrive mm -hmm. with a weapon wagon <laughs> an army right. even john had to look like who's that who, who them people yeah that they, was, uh, they, they was deep in there wasn't it yeah that was deep i'm like wow along with the uh village people as well awaiting their arrival mm -hmm. and you know um they talking a little smack you know the nephew about uh john Mm -hmm. The barbarian, why you know, why he there? Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they welcomed Taranaga and his son, and Yabu told them, um, you know, welcome and show them they uh quarters, quarters or yeah. whatever be staying well taken care of and stuff. Yeah, make sure they well taken care of. You is, know, is this when we get the whole thing? Because he left right away. I Next think, slide. Okay, I'm gonna say almost done. Okay, and then the uh, people was chanting his name and all that. You know, showing him some love. Right. Perfect. As he was getting chanted on, he hopped his tail on a dang on boat to go back to leave. 
Yeah. And Yabu was like, eh. say what now? Did I tell you to let me know the plan? Right. Like, how was in the dark on this? Look at his face. I'm like, what? And then the son was like, my father has some important business uh, to attend. So right. He, it was so into, he never say, well, he don't need to say. When he, oh, right. So I think it's good so he can see how stuff play out. I think he, he really playing chess. Yeah. It's yeah. all part of his plan. Yeah. And um, Yabushike, Yabushike, they actually showed him some love first because they was chanting his name. Then, uh, of course, because he's the leader. Right. The leader. Then he came in and he was being very hum humble. You know, he, he, you know, basically he wasn't like coming in like on some, I'm over y'all and all this other stuff. They just, He just said, I humbly, you know. Even though he was still getting some, a little bit of slack from nephew and the other guy. I forgot. I don't even know his name. Sorry. Um, right. <laughs> the older guy with the eye patch, the guy, you know, <laughs> you'll see it later. Yeah. But I love that little, like that fan that he uses. I was like, it was, come on. He just kept on throwing it up like that. I was like, and I just love the way the scene. It was like he was doing his pageant wave. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I loved it too because, yeah, because uh, Yabu was looking like, Again, it's that's the, not part of the plan. That's the facials for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So with this scene, um, John was going in the, to the village, you know, going to the um, to the harbor, to their harbor, and see like where his um, man and his guns are at um, on the ship. So he was trying to get on the boat. That man was like, "They not here. We moved them to a different place," which I think is a lie. Talking about they move everyone to right. a different place, huh? I don't think that's the truth. So I believe they're part. I believe they're part in the prison somewhere, still there. Yeah, could be or dead. So Ooh. there's that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that, and then you know, Morocco, Mariko. How do you say her name? Mariko, Mariko, Mariko. Uh, she came out, you know, trying to um tell John to stop, you know, um to uh. That basically obey orders right <laughs> like uh you gotta keep your end of the deal up so right he's so eager to get his part of the deal instead of uh, being in position of his honor name which is uh the motto the motto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that uh yeah so she she trying to get him to calm down about that so exactly. so yeah basically that's it so as uh, she got him to calm down and leave the harbor, uh, they was walking through the village and she introduced him to this garden gardener. Uh, don't get me to try to butcher that name. We're not going to even try it, but he's the gardener. Right. Um, she just teaching him like garden don't, don't hold no weight. He's not in the position. Don't hold no weight in any position. He's just a gardener. Right. Of the village. So, and she show him um, his new headquarters, which is, Really nice, a uh, whole new place, a house basically, a place yeah. to stay. He got they really laid it out for uh John because yeah. he's in a position, right? Of a samurai, and you know, what's her name? Fuji, Fuji. um, is his you know, handler that's why I call her. <laughs> she handled everything in the household, so uh, she introduced him to her and what her position would be for him and he's like how long do they plan on me staying here right and she said six months so he said basically i'm in a i'm still in a, i'm in a prison i'm in a new prison but with better <laughs> accommodations like what because he's trying to get his people and his stuff and dip but that's yeah. not part of the deal yeah so he got it and I believe um, somewhere in between this thing, I think uh, we saw Mariko read through some of that book. And Later. He, yeah. She said she he needed to forget his orders and understand that you work for Lord Tor 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 uh, Yeah. So, yeah. So she was like, mind, mind, your, mind your manners, mind your business. Yeah, that, which is part of the deal. Right. So he had to live that to get to what he want. So he really, he like, once I refuse, <laughs> like, I refuse all of it. I don't want none of this. <laughs> He was really fighting. He 
she said something about some cuckoos. He said, I don't want, I don't want your cuckoos. Said, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want the cuckoos. I don't want that. He's like, no, no, man. He said, can't be. He's like, no. He was really fighting. He said, I refuse it all. I should have got that clip. That clip was so funny to me. Oh, boy. <laughs> and here he is. There they go. You know, trying to, you know, this is, it is just so fascinating to see just the, you know, just how they be thinking, trying to think out things and trying to dissuade certain things. And, you know, of course, they're still talking about Tornaga. So, Tornaga. Mm-hmm. And I'm um, saying that, you know, he's just a boy. And like I said, he, it almost like they did that because it felt like they knew that he would just kind of like make the wrong decision. Like, you know, it was just like, it was a mess. But in this one, um, can you figure I, out who uh put the, uh, Put the word out there who um told Toranaga about the uh barbarian ship or whatever mm-hmm. about how he know about the uh, barbarian in the ship. And nephew like, nah. He like, what you been doing, man? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you boy find a goddamn spy. We yeah, just- he like, what you been doing this whole time? Been going <laughs> basically. Right. And he was like, basically, he was telling him that we got the stuff, you know, that's the stuff that Tornaga, I think Omi has found out what Tornaga's play is. He's understand that John has these cannons and these guns and stuff like that. And he's saying that we can kind of leverage that with Lord Ishido. Mm -hmm. And so he said he thinks that's where the value is coming in with the barbarian, how he's moving up in the ranks and he's making all these moves and stuff like that. So he was like this. You need to go ahead and, you know, um, Tornaka is not here. He said, but you had that where you can just kind of, you know, use that as your leverage with Lord Ashido. So they basically was kind of having like this little conversation about that. And yeah, but I don't think that's all of Tornaga plan. I think he always has something else that's not shown. <laughs> right, of course, of course. So, he probably want them to think that, but that's not really actually what it is. <laughs> all right. Oh. I love this scene. This was one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, this that was a good one. This was a good one. So, um, you want to go ahead and do that? So, um, it looked like the next uh morning, the next day, yeah. um, Omi, the nephew, uh, he approached uh John's uh house, and you know, this is the I guess this is the the practice of the uh of the uh, weapons and stuff for the no, I, I remember Mariko coming to his quarters that night and giving him the guns but of course they want the guns because you know they just want the guns they want the guns yeah. and um because they just don't trust him and so they yes, vice versa <laughs> so you know John had to pull it out double barrel so right and they they pulling out they swore so and then we got uh Mariko Mariko whatever saying let me take them right yeah she she told she told Fuji told Mariko that she would take them they would probably you know respect it if she had she take, them, yeah. yeah instead of him having them I think the problem is him <laughs> however she said, um, you they were still trying to take the guns, and then she's like, Wait, hold up now. Wait a minute now. <laughs> she he gave her the guns or whatever. She was like, she would protect them with her life or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um then as she, he gives them to her, and as she actually takes them, Omi still goes to her and say, Give me the guns. And she was just like, uh, boop, boop, please be wait a minute. Way. Please be on your way. Yeah, leave now. And then you see how she she don't actually touch it with her skin. Right. Use her cloth or her. Uh, yeah. yeah. Even when she accepted them, she didn't she didn't touch them with her skin. Because I mean, I think you know that's just maybe customary because it's not a part of. I'm her. like, can women even touch the weapons? I'm like, like what? I'm like, she can't get her fingerprints on it. And like they had, like you know. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> But that was one of my favorite scenes. I really enjoyed it. Um, and it actually, he was like, ooh, he was like, tell her that was good. That was mm-hmm. good. Please. I said, okay. Yeah, appreciate and it. She only did back down. So she got she got the He point. was shocked. I should have got right. this first expression, but he was shocked, like, whoa. Right. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
And so we get to the actual practice of the whole um of the cannons. You know, he's supposed to be there training them and doing all the stuff. So they're sitting there, the men are learning the tactics and stuff. And he's just like, for real, for real. He was like, I don't know. He said, I'm on a ship. I'm like a part of the Navy, the naval type of thing. Yeah, that's what he was saying to me. I don't know, like on, on the ground tactics or whatever, but here we are. Um at first he was telling this insane story that he wasn't even born yet. He telling her this war story. Oh, right. He wasn't even, he didn't even exist. She was like, wait, was you even born? And they just waiting. They were like, what's going on? She's trying to translate. Like, what? <laughs> she questioning him with his own stuff. Right. She was like, I'm just trying to get some clarification. Right. <laughs> so they're doing the demonstrations and stuff like that. And of course, I can't even imagine how that sounds. Like, yeah. <laughs> the gun range. I be having earphones on. And well, you're supposed to have the head when you go at the range. Yeah, but can you imagine how that fucking cannon sounds? Well, we saw some of the other people. They was, yeah, they weren't close in their ears or whatever, but like that would help, but yeah. <laughs> that was a mess. But he was saying that they had already had some guns and things and demonstrations. On the Portuguese. That, she said she was right. like, Portuguese gave us for 50 years ago or whatever. Yeah. Yes, and he was just like he wasn't believing in the uh, accuracy of the cannon. They was just like, "Oh, uh, it's not going to be able to hit something." So they ain't know what they was doing, but John do. Right, right. And so we see that he um, actually hits his targets when you yeah, know they're called Yabu interest. If you yeah. saw him, he's like, "Oh, yeah." He's like, "Oh, maybe." Word. It's work. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so that was a decent demonstration or whatever so yeah we see mariko again looking through this book reading interpreting what's going on these crimes actually in the journal yes in the journal and stuff like that and she goes to talk to him and during this talk this is where the baby earthquake actually happens <laughs> <laughs> the baby earthquake yeah, that's, that's what she called she even called it a baby earthquake i said yeah it was a baby earthquake because you know, around those parts, you remember they whenever it feel like they have like big earthquakes, they always get a tsunami that comes with it as well. So, yeah, that definitely was. Um, she and then she also told him that she she knows some of the things that he's done and you know all of that other stuff. You remember anything else from the conversation? Uh, no, I don't. Sorry, I don't think it wasn't. That. It wasn't. It wasn't that much, to be honest. In this scene, yeah. And you remember, I already mentioned it earlier about the whole. You know, she, their, their houses are made to go up as quickly as they can go down and go stuff down. Like that yeah. And talk. I think about she's just trying to get to understand him and reading those journals mm -hmm. very helped. Yeah, definitely. You know. Definitely. Now, Curry, this simp, this lady, this lady. Um, is using her feminine wiles to her advantage, okay? <laughs> it, it couldn't be that hard because he looked like he, he's something for her. Because I'm like, I love you. Right. It wasn't returned. How about Kiku? I love you, Kiku. And I mean, like I said, she is using them feminine wiles the way she looks at him and she gives him everything he wants and stuff like that. Like, she is really the pillowing is pillowing, okay? Yeah, she put it on him. <laughs> <laughs> Declarations of love, Monique said, he didn't say it back. I said, Oh, Lord, <laughs> yes, I'm like, stupid. and she put a little bug in his ear. So she went over there and she sat beside him. The whole village is so uneasy when your uncle is around, right? You know, it would be uh better if you was our Lord. Oh, right, like, mm -hmm. what? Yep, 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 yep. So, you know, only if you was our Lord. <laughs> And that sparks something. He like, oh, right, right. And we'll see as you know, I got a shot. We get there. <laughs> so, honey, mm, mm, mm. we see Joe Josen comes, and he's from Ishido's. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Ishido's man. Mm -hmm. he comes and he gives him, telling him that he needs to come back to Osaka. Um, to renew your loyalty to the council, because like we're saying, we we understand that he's kind of playing both both sides. Yeah, because Ishido said like he he think he betrayed us, like he right. they, like he betrayed us. So they said, uh, -uh you bring your ass back here, so <laughs> you flesh see where your loyalty lies. Either you yeah. with us or against us, 
Right. Basically. So. And um. So you can see there were definitely some some insults that was traded, which um you know going towards Tornaga's son. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying it just kept on that chip that chip. That's why. Just, you see his face. Right. That face. He, he just he cannot stand. I'm tired of these people playing on my head. So like <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so you know, he he's still just saying all the little things or whatever. He says that um, Jojen is going to stay tonight, and we're going to dem do a de another demonstration. demonstration for him, so he can take it back to Ishido. So right. exactly, which is stupid, but okay, right? Then um, <laughs> they had this little thing. I don't know if the women were eating it. I don't understand why they was laughing so hard at him eating it because I don't know. It almost felt no. Like he had something totally different laid out right. with the it women, like but he was like, "What's that y'all eating? I want some too." Right. I was like, maybe it's not customary for the men to eat what they're eating, so that's why. Yeah, especially if you're gonna be a, a samurai, so I guess they got a special meal plan for them yeah. for some. <laughs> Cause they look like they were eating something totally nasty. It looked like spit noodles. <laughs> I, I promise you, it was that slimy. It was, it was slimy it was the way he slimy. He said it looked like stinky cheese or molded. Yeah, cheese. So who yeah. I'm like cheese? absolutely not. <laughs> mm -mm. He was like it's stinky. He was like it's it's pretty good though. I was just like, Ugh. yeah. Hey, let's on the toilet later. <laughs> so, um. He apologizes to Fuji. Um, Fuji, in turn, accepts it. He gives her his favorite um, pow pow. <laughs> and, and she's like, I didn't want it or whatever, but she went ahead and, you know, he was saying how he, it was a great gesture. And so she was just saying, it's it's honorable. It's, it's coming with good intentions. And so once she realized that, she goes to get her family swords. Her daddy's her daddy's swords. He said, "Um, it belongs to him." Because I actually thought it might have been her husband's swords. So I'm glad it was actually her father's swords. Um, so it wouldn't be like you know, not not taking your husband's stuff, but taking the father, the family. Yeah, it's the father's. Yeah, right. And she says it's a it's a symbol of her father's bravery and stuff like that. And she says she don't want to be a uh, be around no dude who is not uh, carrying a sword. Exactly, exactly. I don't care what kind of title you Which got. Which is true. You he is like it. the one that's not really packing a sword. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So he um he ends up, he, he was kind of hesitant, just as, the same as she was, but it was a great honor. She was like, yeah. go ahead and take it. And, you know, under the guidance of Mariko. She definitely helps and aids with persuading people to do the things, the right things or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. Love that. That was a good scene as well. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about this scene. You can go ahead and... Oh, this is Omi trying to plant that seed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, um, Omi had uh, mentioned about uh the next day, how they got to demonstrate in front of... uh What's his name? Josen. Yeah, Josen. Um. Uh, showing him the tactics, their tactics for uh, taking back to Ishido. And um, he like, I just can't believe it. We got to do that, man. You know, he just talking, like trying to get in his head. And um, he said, we should uh, ask your father go, uh, for permission about uh, what we should do and how should we handle it, you know? And then um, this is when uh, what's the son's name? Naka, Naka, the son. <laughs> I can't never remember his name. Naka, Kyle, started, something like it that. It started with a K. But uh, Teranaga's son. He always he feel like he like why everybody gotta ask my father what to do. He right. like I'm here, I'm useless. Like I'm, yeah, like I'm a spoiled brat. Like I'm useless. And then he was like, you know, as as he's sitting there thinking, he said, "Don't send no message to my father." He said, "I'll handle it." Like he got something to prove, right, right. And then, uh, then I'm like, with a smirk on his face, like, okay, yeah, he like he, he did said, what was required he, to. He might be falling for it because line and sinker. I don't know if he knew that that was gonna be the ramification, but we'll get there. <laughs> but 
but it was almost like he had like you know the muscle twirling villain like you know the the little manipulator yeah over there i was like oh up tearing him yes he was, was like what we should do we should go like he keep bringing up his father like we should go ask your father like what should we do like how right. should we move you know right. and then of course like i said they had already planted the seeds of him you know being you know oh your, your son your you know your son you're useless and stuff like that so mm-hmm. they done picked on him so much now yeah they did saying some <laughs> slick stuff now we got some, a little bit of backstory, y'all. Just a little bit. They gave us a crumb. They keep giving us flashbacks, but she really didn't say. Right. Her family right. name. Right. <laughs> Did not say. But we can only guess what who's her family. Sure. They got wiped out. Yeah. So we got a little bit. Um, she said, I have not told you my family name. Um, they're talking. Oh. He was taking another bath, thank God, because you know he don't like taking baths, child. He talking about two baths in one week. <laughs> no, baby. No, no, no. <laughs> so After what y'all was doing in the field with them cannons and stuff? Exactly. No. Exactly. But they did they had a real lengthy conversation this time while he was in the um bathing. The bathing area and stuff like that. He really called him bathing. He was just standing there. I ain't seen no soap. I ain't seen no nothing. No, not even a, a cloth. Okay. <laughs> he was just standing there. <laughs> so that's not really a, a wash. Right, right. <laughs> I guess. Right. So um during this time, what did we we learned a lot about each other? Like they were there was a lot of dialogue back and forth or whatever. Yeah. Um, she there was a small teeny tiny flashback. She said that she reveals to him. That you know there was an atrocity that happened with her family, and she didn't have no type of resolution. But Lord Tornaga has given her hopes of a resolution, and he's yeah, like, he says oh. a better yeah, right, right. It's like well, I mean, of course it got to be revenge, but you can't give too much because, like she said, she said that's how she got in touch with that priest to guide her right back. Yes, I forgot his name, but yeah, <laughs> him. <laughs> So, yeah, so we get a little bit, but like she said, she said, you need to guard your heart. And I think we talk about the eightfold fence here. Is this where we talk about, um, she was saying that she probably couldn't give him too much information because, you know, the eight, have you heard of the eightfold fence? And, yeah. You know, all this stuff about is kind of like, it's almost to me what she was trying, it was like compartmentalizing your your emotions with what's going on and you know reality and stuff like I that it was poetic I yeah. had a clip of it because I, I cannot remember word by word <laughs> was saying, yeah yeah but it was really poetic yeah, was was and that, i think he even said that he said i never heard somebody say it's so poetic or something anyway. yeah because that's how she said it <laughs> <laughs> right so he gets so you know there was a lot of bonding that was going on in that little hot spot that was you know mm-hmm. so of course because I think she is fond of him anyway but at the same time she knows that Fuji is actually mourning and mourning and grieving and stuff like that she knows that she can't party you know he was knocked out anyway at first and right Fuji said good night she blew her pen up good night right. they said what they said. I think what she said that they're not allowed to go to sleep before, right? Them. Yeah. So he had to wait until he went to sleep. sleep. Mm-hmm. I, I guess he didn't want no pillowing because he knew she was in mourning as well. So Mariko comes and then baby and gives him a nice little pillow. <laughs> Lay your head on my head. And it wasn't graphic, but I did think it was. I thought it was. I thought it was good. I thought they showed just enough. I'm glad they didn't. Make- yeah, that scene was kind of more dark than Omi and that girl. Right. They was in daylight. We saw everything with them. <laughs> but this one was, this one, it was like, I was surprised that she was like, you know, they was actually kissing on the mouth. It mm-hmm. was very intimate. And I was just like, oh, okay. So very. we see that. And then she comes out <laughs> the next He's like, morning. Good morning. He with like, a smile on his face. <laughs> yeah. She was like, oh, you're in good spirits this morning. <laughs> he said, I should be. <laughs> Sale. She's trying to be discreet. He up to just having a casual conversation because she was not supposed to be doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. But see, because Fuji don't speak the language, she's not going to make out what, what you're saying. 
Yeah, but she gonna catch on eventually. Yeah, cause... She did, cause she gave her a little look. Like, what the hell y'all talking about? <laughs> yeah, so. she did give him a little look though. Maybe That's... in morning, but she ain't done. Exactly. <laughs> and um, she said she thought it, it would make a pleasing gift, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that was, that was a really nice gift." <laughs> mm-hmm. Stupid. You know, you gotta like spell it out for men because he's slow. Right. She's trying to be discreet. He just like flat out talking because oh my god. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for the larger demonstration or whatever. Mm-hmm. Nagakoto, that's the son name, Nagakoto. Um, he started going in on him again. Talking about maybe there's a career for you in helping a bear, helping yeah. a bear, and see, like I said, they they did it yesterday, and now I'm like this this boy and this little boy that had enough. He done had enough. Up to here with it, bam. Next thing you know, let's go ahead and just watch it, baby, because I got it right. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, fuck this. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? I'm looking at nephew in the back. That was the signal. Oh, y'all can guess what happened. Y'all can guess what happened. <laughs> if you yeah, haven't seen it yeah. already. <laughs> All right, one more, y'all. See, he know what it is. Come on. He wanted to know. I said it's time to prove. Oh, too graphic. But baby, it was a Basically, it was an off with his head. Off with his head moment. And yeah. Look at nephew. Look at nephew. Omi smiling. She already know what it is because I think her family went through it. Yeah. So we probably going to get more about that about her family. But yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Honey. This is. That was a lot. I said, I said, those poor, poor horses. It's like, no, nah. <laughs> the men too. <laughs> okay. She said, that's what the animals will the men. <laughs> Hilarious. And of course, just like Monique said, you see Omi back there, like, yeah, we just got it popping. This Joker like smile. Yeah. Just to. And Yabashige, his face, this has been his face like the last three episodes. <laughs> Right, basically. I mean, the last two episodes, this has been his face, basically. He's like, no. It was, oh. Nephew was like, yes. <laughs> even John, he was, he, even John had to turn his head like, yo. What the hell? hell? <laughs> right, what's going on? <laughs> I'm, I'm hype. I'm, I'm hype on this one. I don't give it a 10. I give it a 10, too. I give it a 10. <laughs> So good, y'all. So freaking good. Did you see Miracle and um, John get to, you thought they was gonna smash after a while? Yeah. I thought so too. Yeah, Especially know. last episode, they was just talking. Mm-hmm. She was like really at ease talking to him. So right, exactly, exactly. But yeah, I knew it was coming. I knew for sure it was coming. Um, you had a couple of smashes in here. Yeah, we sure did. One I discussed. That's the gross one, not so much. And this the other, other one, I'm with here for. Yeah. If her husband is unalive, hopefully, gonna pop up later. Right. Um, <laughs> that would be messy. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so do you predict uh, what episode you predict uh, turn out to pop up? The next one? Oh, at the end? What you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got 10 episodes. So I think next episode, shit is going down. So we're gonna see Tornado again, and I believe um, Tornado's son. He has. I, I don't see him making it throughout through the season. He's not. He's not gonna make it, y'all. 
Yeah, he 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 got to go. And even though I get his position of how he's feeling, but no, baby, he he, he should have studied your daddy instead of being so eager to be out there. Exactly. Uh, that's making decisions. That's why you really not ready. Right. Right. Absolutely. He was your daddy not playing chess. You playing checkers. You letting your emotions get to you, honey. Exactly. That's what that's what they said. They said you got to keep a part of your heart away where nobody knows what's going on. And we should have seen. Um, so, yeah. So my death prediction will be, I think. Tornaga's son in episode six. Yeah, he had to go. He, yeah. I think, I think he, I mean. I don't know, I don't he said, in the name of my father, I'm like, your father's not dead, and he did not give that order. <laughs> what the heck? Right. I was like, ooh. I said, they played that boy. Oh, they played him. Oh, so how long you think Yabu is going to figure out his uh, nephew is behind this? How long you think it's going to take? Mm. Let me know y'all in the comments how long y'all think it's going to take for <laughs> Yabu to catch on to his nephew, Omi. Episode six, I can see that, yeah, because I don't think the next episode he's gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. No, but I, I do think it's it's gonna be episode five. The shit is about to hit the fan, so oh, yeah, uh, Mesh is about to uh get back to uh Ishido, exactly, and everybody got to prepare. <laughs> exactly, I wonder, um, I, I think, um, Ishido, I'm not Ishido, I think, um, Tornaga probably went back to check on his wife and um, and the general. You think he went back? No, no, heck no. Right. He should have stayed if he was going to do that. He right. went back to Osaka. Yeah, I wonder where he is. You know, I'm surprised that they... Um, he, he, didn't, he didn't show everybody his hand. Right, right. I'm surprised that he showed up. I'm surprised he ain't like out in sea on some ship just chilling. <laughs> Don't be chilling. Chilling, see how everything going to play out, see what people going to do, mm. how people going to move, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but baby. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I think it's going down next episode. We both gave it a 10 out of 10. It gets yeah. better and better and better. It's getting better and better. So, yeah. 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 Yep. 10 episodes. We, and this is, the, this is episode four, you guys. We got this in episode four. And right. it's 10 episodes. So, I can only imagine what's going to happen next. Exactly. Exactly. Whew, I'm so excited. So excited. Um, and, the, and this is another one last question. Do you guys think when the matches get back to Ishida, do you think he going to team up with the other council members, with, them, with their peoples, would they be on board with this war? Or you think they're going to have a change of heart down the line? Uh, I feel like I feel like that was part of the last straw. So that's Ishida people. Right. The other council members don't have to get on board. Oh, I guess not. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I know that they still they want, still want they still his want John. They still yeah. want him. So I hope nothing happened to that old man, Terranaga guy. The general, I like him. I do like him. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. So, so yeah, yeah. Let, let us know in the comments, y'all. We are going to in them comments. <laughs> we're going to be responding, okay? Because it's so much that can go where the story can go, and like I said, I haven't seen um, any other. Um, stories. Um, I think they had a mini series about this um, some years ago, maybe a couple decades ago. Like, oh, um, really? In the 2010s or the 20, um, yeah, 20s, 2000s, 2010s or something like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check it out after. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want no, no, no. <laughs> I don't want none of that stuff. I no, want no, no. And then, like, this whole thing, like, it is bringing back the uh, excitement. I'm glad this wasn't a Netflix binge. I love episode by episode yes and we can have the discussion and stuff like that so give us some time to process it digest it rewatch yes. it rewatch it again rewatch it again yes so i definitely got that and remember we're going to come back live 7 30 eastern time mm -hmm. okay so yes. let's do 7 30 eastern time on wednesdays to recap for live recaps so live recap for up and now we're going to do the live recaps so y'all make sure y'all put your notification buttons on. Make sure you tell a friend. Everybody's watching Shogun. So y'all should be sharing these videos because we want to get in on the discussion. Yes. So yes. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. 
We'll see you guys Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern Standard. All right. Bye. Bye.